Oh hey guys, thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, my name's Matt Johnson and I do videos on DIY motorcycle maintenance, mainly on the ER6F, but the same information is relevant for the ER6N and the Kawasaki Versus, specifically the 2006 to 2008 model. And I just wanted to share something with you very quickly. I'm doing the mechanical oil seal and an oil change on the bike. Definitely due, we're coming into summer. She's starting to run a little bit hot. And I noticed that when I dropped the coolant, it was a rather strange color. And um, it made me think about when the last time I actually changed the coolant was. And I'm estimating it was approximately three or four years ago. So this is what coolant that's getting old is going to look like. You know, we're getting p potentially a little bit of corrosion and the coolant itself is starting to break down. It should look more like that. So if your coolant doesn't look like that, nice and clear and a nice bright green or blue or red if you're using the racing coolant, you definitely want to change that. Now, it's not a difficult process. It's not an expensive process. And it's going to mean that your bike is going to run potentially cooler, which in the long term is going to ensure that it lasts that much longer. So I've covered coolant change and the mechanical oil seal change in a few of my other videos. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but I just wanted to share with you that kind of color chart reference. It's really murky. It's gone a yellowy brown color. Definitely time to change. What you will need, uh, if you haven't watched my other videos or you don't want to go through the whole process of, of watching them, I'll just quickly share with you. You do want a piece of hose that's about 35 centimeters long and a funnel because that's going to allow you to reach through to the, to the cap on your radiator, which is in there without spilling too much coolant everywhere. So little pro tip for you, funnel, hose, uh, you'll definitely want some kind of bucket to catch your old coolant. And we're gonna replace with some decent quality concentrate. And you definitely wanna make sure that you're using demineralized water, uh, not tap water, because there are quite a few contaminants in your regular tap water in terms of, of what a cooling system needs. So spend a few dollars. It's not an expensive process. This replacement is only going to cost about 20 Australian dollars, which is on the current exchange rate, probably about 15 US. So keep an eye on that guys. So that's definitely something you want to keep track of. Maybe make a note of it in your logbook or on some kind of digital record. So there was just a quick question. I wanted to open that discussion with you guys is, uh, Possibly how often are you changing that mechanical seal on your bikes? I'm getting about 15,000 kilometers out of each seal. And how often are you guys changing your coolant? Are you waiting for it to start looking like this? Or are you changing it you know, once a year or once every couple of years? Comments down below, let me know. And also got some really exciting news for you. A little bit of a teaser. We're gonna be introducing the thing in the coming videos. What is the thing? Well. Stay tuned to find out. Oh, and don't forget, if, if you find my videos useful, can you, can, can you click on the, is it on that side? Was it that side? Can you click on that subscribe button? Really help me out. We're coming up to 500 subscribers, growing the channel. It's, uh, it means a lot to me. So yeah, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.